How can you catch lightning and see its energy? Or ruin your laptop easily in seconds? Today we want to show you some super interesting science experiments that literally look like magic. You will see things that look like witchcraft and moments like from horror movies. Let's get started. Homemade salt. A while ago, I showed you what sodium can do when placed in water. If you remember, it starts burning super pretty, and finally it all ends with a bang. But it gets even more interesting when sodium is added to hydrogen chloride. The next experiment is a bit more risky and is therefore not done as often. When a piece of sodium is dropped into hydrochloric acid, it begins to boil and gives off a lot of heat. Most interesting, however, are the sparks that are observed when hydrogen burns. This is the so-called chemiluminescence, and appears as a result of the energy released by the reaction. The product that is the result from this violent reaction may surprise you. This is a common salt, or known in chemistry as sodium chloride. Of course, quantities are extremely important. The more material, the more sparks and cracking you'll get. In general, don't try this at home. If you want salt, just buy it from the store. Bleeding iron. Did you know that even the strong iron can bleed? Okay, not exactly but the next science experiment will show you that it too can also be fragile sometimes. Iron is one of the most recognizable metals and is found everywhere in our daily lives. Perhaps it's only minus is rust as a result of contact with moisture or water. Although stable, iron can behave a little strangely, especially when immersed in a solution of potassium and hydrogen peroxide. As you can see, it is starting to bleed. You know for a fact that it's not real blood, just each of the solutions start to react in its own way with the iron. Its surface seems to melt, corrode, and liquefy. This experiment is most effective when differently shaped iron is used, such as a heart shape. Seeing it bleed is symbolic. However, chemicals are dangerous, and you should certainly not try it yourself at home. To catch lightning. Did you know we can catch lightning, or at least the scars it leaves? Well, we can't catch it during a storm. This would be extremely dangerous, but we can recreate its action in a very interesting way. You must have seen such figures being sold in stores somewhere. However, did you know that they are obtained after a rather interesting experiment? An ordinary block of transparent acrylic plastic is taken and struck with an electric charge. Interestingly, the electrons are trapped inside and can be watched as they make their way through. The resulting effect is called a Lichtenberg figure and is literally the image of a branching electric charge. The process itself is very interesting, but the end product is also a beautiful interior solution. It can also be done on wood coated with acrylic polish. Melted aluminum levitation. Have you seen how under certain conditions certain elements levitate? Today, I will also surprise you with an experiment that gives two results. Aluminum, as a material, surrounds us in everyday life. It is impossible not to have at least one role for kitchen purposes at home. You must have noticed that in principle it is not particularly magnetic, but there are certain conditions under which you can make it magnetic. We are observing a solid copper coil with a current of about two kilowatts flowing through it. It also creates a strong magnetic field inside the center and is very hot. Thus, the aluminum both levitates and melts at the same time. It heats up to 700 degrees centigrade and turns into a glowing ball of metal. It can be touched with pencil graphite and deformed. As we know, Graphite is one of the most temperature-resistant substances we know. When the power goes out, the fiery aluminum ball falls and becomes a pancake. The superconductors. You may have come across these videos on the internet and wondered, how is this possible? And if there are any benefits to its cool looks? This experiment is called quantum levitation, and it's actually a super-cooled wire on a magnetic surface that can be easily manipulated and looks really weird and unnatural. Superconductors are literally the holy grail of technology, because apart from levitation, which will help with transport, they have another huge advantage, which is the transfer of energy without any loss. Nowadays, the wires you see on transmission lines are mostly made of copper, which has resistance and a significant amount of electricity is lost in transmission. Superconductors will not have these losses, and so for example, Africa can generate electricity for America while it is night there, and vice versa. So far, however, we don't have a superconductor at room temperature. All have to be very cold to have these properties, which requires energy. Gallium and aluminum. Check out one way to destroy your laptop quickly. This is possible as long as you have some gallium available. It is a metal that is at solid state at normal room temperature. But if you take it in your hands, it turns into a liquid. 
The site is definitely very interesting and not dangerous as long as you don't take too long. Gallium does not react immediately with the skin, but with other metals such as aluminum, for example, it becomes violent. See what happens to an iPod that has been pre-scratched to remove the paint. Even thick stuff like this padlock only lasts a few hours on contact. Then it starts to break off. The most expensive experiment I came across with gallium was with a MacBook. Some people sprinkled gallium on it and then broke off whole pieces of it. Hopefully it was unusable because otherwise it's a nasty waste. The iPhone worked until the end, although its side frame broke easily. Ferrofluid. No, it's not some advanced nanotechnology, just a special substance known as a ferrofluid. In reality, it contains microscopic particles of metal, most often iron, which follow the magnetic field. This is how these spikes are produced, and the stronger the magnetic field, the smaller and sharper they are. You can even see them react when one approaches another magnet, and if you get close enough, the liquid will be sucked right out. This liquid is super interesting to observe and experiment with. Even now I think that if you showed it in the Middle Ages, you would surely get burned for witchcraft. Thank God it's pure science these days. In general, if there is a little magnetism, the thorns appear. Smart Plasticine. Now everything around us is smart. Why not have smart plasticine to play with? Before you think that there might actually be some intelligence in it, I have to tell you that it's just plain plasticine with metal particles inside that are attracted by a magnet, much like the liquid from the last point. Years ago, it was even sold as a toy for children because it has some really extraordinary properties. Left near a magnet, it can easily absorb it, overcoming gravity from some angles. It really looks like a living organism from horror movies. The most interesting thing is that it has different properties at different strengths of interaction with it. If you pull on it, it will stretch very slowly. If you're sharp, it breaks. If you hit it with a hammer, it's like glass. Sugar Volcano. I bet you haven't seen how sugar reacts with sulfuric acid. In principle, everything with sulfuric acid reacts interestingly, but here I was also surprised. It all starts with a cup of sugar and adding acid directly on top. Nothing interesting or disturbing at the moment, except maybe a little brownish color. A few minutes later, however, a real smoking monster begins to rise, which can reach a serious height. And in the end, it is crumbly. Interestingly, the final products after the reaction are carbon, water vapor, and toxic sulfur dioxide, which should be avoided even on a small scale with a few sugar cubes. The results are again very interesting. The heat that is generated can also be seen. A naked egg. Want to learn how to peel an egg without touching it? Now I will show you an experiment that you can do at home, and it is not dangerous. At most you'll have to clean up a bit. You put a raw egg in a glass and pour apple vinegar on top. Then you have to wait because the reaction is slow and can take between 24 and 48 hours. You will then end up with a membrane-only egg, known as a shellless naked egg. As we know, the shell of the egg is made of calcium carbonate, and vinegar breaks it down. You must have noticed that when you peel a boiled egg, there is a very thin membrane that holds the egg whole. After the experiment, be careful because even though it bounces, it pops easily and you will have to clean. If any of you decide to try this experiment, please share your results in the comments. A similar thing, by the way, also happens with the bones, which become downright gelatinous or rubbery. After a night spent in vinegar, it's a little weird to watch, but interesting. How to change the color of the flowers. Did you know that you can see how a flower absorbs and distributes water and changes its color at the same time? So you take some white flowers, maybe roses, cut the stem at 45 degrees and place cups filled with water and food coloring. For a faster effect, one spoon each of vinegar and sugar. You leave the flower for one or two hours and enjoy the result. You see hurriedly how the color preferentially goes to the tips of the leaves. Over time, the water evaporates and the color becomes more and more saturated this experiment can also be obtained with other types of flowers. Radiation Chamber If you've ever wondered what radiation, or rather charged particles, would look like, well, here it is on your screens. In 1927, a special chamber filled with saturated vapors of water or alcohol was invented. A radioactive element is placed in it, and trails begin to appear around it. They are a consequence of ionization, that is, the particle collects condensation for fractions of a second and its path can be visualized. The thicker the trace, the better. The subtle traces are beta and gamma radiation, which as we know is more dangerous for living organisms. We have to admit it looks kind of captivating to watch, 
like it's really magic. Give a like if you enjoyed the video and learned something new. If you enjoyed the video, you will like this one here. Don't forget to subscribe.